I want to run through these nine problems and decide which ones are growth or decay or in some cases neither. We're going to do that by referring to our formula up here for an exponential function. y equals a times b to the x power. Now b is the important term. If it's greater than 1, it represents a growth. A growth will look like either this or it could be shifted down and to the right, something like that. Okay, generally, as our x values increase, the y values increase as well. If our b term, however, is between 0 and 1, then we have decays. And that graph will look like this. As our x values increase, our y values will decrease. It could be shifted, this could be another one, but they generally reflect this shape. Now, if our a value is, uh, which is the number in front of the b to the x, uh, b to the x power. If our a value is negative, below zero, then it's not going to be a growth or decay. And that will look like this, or it could actually look like that. Okay, generally, th these are just rough sketches, of course. Now, uh, let's go through one through nine. Number one, our b term is three, which is greater than one, so that reflects a growth. Number two, our b term is 2 fifths, which is between 0 and 1, so that's going to be a decay. Uh, number three is 4 thirds, it's greater than 1, so that's a growth. Number four, our b term is 4, so that would be a growth because it's greater than 1, but a, the value of a up in front here, is negative 3, which is less than 0, so this is actually going to be neither. Uh, number 5, our b term is 2.4, which is greater than 1, so that's going to be a growth. Uh, this one right here, well, you might think, well, what's our a term? We have a, a b that looks like negative 3, but actually that b is, is positive 3. Our equation could look like this, y equals negative 1 times 3 to the x power. So actually our a value is negative 1. And we refer to this. If a is less than 0, it's going to be neither. So let's label this as neither. Now, number 7, 8, and 9 all have uh, a negative in front of the x's. Now, if we have a negative multiplier like that, we actually do the opposite of what it looks like. So in this case, uh, it looks like a growth because our 4 uh, is greater than um, 1, which is our b term. So it's a growth. But we got to do the opposite. So it's actually a decay. Number eight, we have a, a negative multiplier in front of the x. So again, we do the opposite. Normally, this looks like a decay because we have 2 thirds, but it's going to be a growth. And then number nine, uh, we have a negative multiplier. But actually, our a value is negative. It's smaller than 0, so that's going to be uh, neither.